Hey Tripod, did you read the new DP review article that said that you are the best all-around performance and value tripod on the market? Well, good on you. Wait a second. This red does not match Sony Alpha Bronze. Well, that's it. So I guess I need a new tripod. Thankfully, KNF got in touch with me. Normally, tripods, not that exciting. But, oddly enough, the last video I did with KNF Concepts, with their ND filters, ended up being a very popular video. You guys are still watching that like crazy. I guess you're looking for a good value, not just something expensive that is pretty good, like that tripod. So let's see. So, all that being said, KNF has some new value price tripods out on the market. We have this small compact travel tripod for $129.99, Canadian, American price somewhere on here, and the big beefy studio video tripod for $179.99, American price. So what does that give us? Well, Obviously, number one of the most important thing is the ability to be color coordinated with my Sony Alpha cameras. Look at that, it's almost exactly the same color. Well, what else does that give us? Well, as you can see, big boy right over here has a few tricks up its sleeve. We have a dual stage center column that can sink down in like this or release and bring it up like this. So. This tripod, I don't even have the bottom stages out all the way, gets enormously high. It gets that high. This travel tripod, however, also has a dual stage neck, but it does not get very high at all. So by the time you get all the way up here and everything's locked down, things can be pretty wobbly. Now, this is no expensive carbon fiber gitso, so you get what you pay for, and in this particular case, you're not getting an awful lot extra than what you paid for. You're just getting all the features you could hope to get. Additionally, this one and the bigger one have the ability to convert into a monopod. This is a very small, very lightweight monopod on this side. And over here, we have a much larger and longer monopod, obviously, because this is a bigger tripod. So once again, even with this bigger tripod, because we have so many stages on top here, even when you lock it down 100%, we still get a little bit of wobble. Now, honestly, a lot of that wobble's not even coming from the upper stages here. It seems to be coming from just the interplay between the legs, and that's to be expected from aluminum tripods. Whereas, you can have a fairly small, lightweight carbon fiber tripod and have a lot less give to it. Yeah, I didn't actually throw this. So the advantage of a carbon fiber tripod, other than draining your wallet, is that it's very strong, but also by design, absorbs vibrations, whereas aluminum tripods tend to carry them through. Now, I didn't just open these boxes and put these tripods to use. I'll be perfectly honest, I've been using these for well over a month for a lot of video work that I've been doing. And, Nothing has broken yet. The differences between the tripods, other than the size, the legs on the travel tripod are snap locks, whereas the legs on the large tripod are twist lock. Now, I have heard so many people go back and forth as to which one is best on that, so I can't really award any points one way or the other depending on which one is which. It's up to you to decide which particular type of locking you prefer. So there was actually a little bit of an issue when KNF sent this to me, and this ball head apparently was damaged in shipping. So what does that give us? It gives us the opportunity to find out just how strong this tripod is. Because I have one slightly damaged tripod. 
Now, as I said, there seems to be a bit of give to these legs. Let's find out just how much give that is. Are you ready? <gasps> so, I weigh 160 pounds. That tripod had no difficulty holding up my weight. The snap lock, however, they do slide out when you put 160 pounds on them. Yes, I tried this in advance because I didn't want to die on video. So there you have it. We have two new tripods from KNF Concepts. They're very pretty, and honestly, that's one of the only things that separates value price bargain tripods. We've got the horizontal axis on this, which you might find useful. However, this does, a, of course, add additional instability. Whereas this one, it's just a normal, by the book, solid aluminum tripod. If you have any questions about these, let me know down in the comments. I will answer them, because I'm always hanging out down in the comments below. So, until next time, don't throw your tripods, and go take some photos. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, tighten these down a little more. Go. Take two. My bad.